It is not often I'll subscribe to yet another streaming service for a single show, but now that Hawkeye has ended, I needed to find my Jeremy Renner fix somewhere. And after hearing good things about Mayor of Kingstown, I signed up for Paramount Plus, and, do not regret it. This is a very good show worth the price of admission on its own. I'd also argue that it's better than the other, higher profile project from Taylor Sheridan, Yellowstone, at least here in season 4. While Mayor of Kingstown seems like it's spooling up for a great run, Yellowstone, in many ways, feels like it's jumped the shark after peaking in season 3. I knew little about Mayor of Kingstown before I started it, and quickly learned it was not about a literal mayor, but rather the role of a fixer in a fictional Michigan town that is tasked with managing warring prison and gang factions, while squeezing out some income on the side. That fixer role falls to Renner after some unforeseen tragedies, I didn't love the bait and switch they do with one actor in particular, and the end result is an extremely tense, violent, occasionally sexy series that I would classify as one of the best things on TV right now. This past week brought a especially explosive episode as the first season marches toward its finale, and I cannot wait to see how things end, and for the show to return for another season. That said, critics really, really got this one wrong. Mayor of Kingstown has a dismal 32% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I believe has to be based on screeners of just the first three episodes, when the series really picks up at episodes 4 to 5 or so. This is shown in the audience scores, which are wildly disparate at an 84%, with avid viewers recognizing that yes, actually, this is a great series. Renner is excellent here, and I also think this is a star-making vehicle for Emma Laird, a call girl Renner gets tasked with protecting, I'm pretty sure she doesn't even show up in the episodes the critics screened. I would draw a sharp contrast between this and Yellowstone Season 4, currently at a frankly ridiculous 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. In my estimation, the show has gone off the rails this past season, 